What's going on guys? It's Immortal Jake back at it with another tutorial video. Sorry for the hiatus. Um, I actually lost my voice uh, from being sick or whatever. But I got it back. We're all good now. Everything, Everyone's getting better. Everyone's good. So yeah, today... We doing Nobushi. As always, if you like the videos, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it. Alright guys, let's get straight into it. We got our lights. Lights are very quick. Pokes. Very fun to mess with your opponent. Her heavies. Her heavies are very slow, honestly. Um, but they get some nice properties when you chain them into your combos. She's got two types of dodge attacks. So she's got her dash light. And then her dash heavies. So if you see, as you can see, sorry... The heavies go the opposite direction of your dodge. So if you dodge left, it comes from the right. But if you dodge left and throw a light, it comes from the left. So, it's very good for tricking them. Play mind games, guys. She can actually do her dodge attacks forward as well. No matter which way you have your heavy, though, uh, she'll attack from that direction, even if you dodge forward. But if you dodge, if you do a light, it's gonna, it's gonna make the dodge go to the top. So... Keep that in mind. Nobushi's zone is a double hit. The second one can be fainted. So you'll do a arching swing into a stab. Now that stab applies bleed. Um, bleed proc obviously uh, ticks their ha health away for those of you who don't know. Her running attack is a running heavy. So you'll go into sprint, press the right trigger, and initiate a heavy. It's basic, you know, not too, not too uh, fancy, but gets the job done. Hidden Stance. So Nobushi has a feature called Hidden Stance where she goes into this stance and can change her attacks. Um, to get into the stance is the same as like a full guard from like Conqueror or Warlord. Um, you just flick that stick straight on down and you go into the stance. Now the stance actually has iframes as well so when you go into the stance you can use it as a dodge and then follow up with attacks. So from the stance her lights are basic still. You simply just press the light button while you're in the stance. She can also throw her heavies. They become undodgeable, guys. So they have to block or uh, parry, which is nice. She also has a kick from the stance. So the kick can be done by pressing the guard break button while you're in the stance. The kick, when it lands, guarantees a light. You see how he splatted off the wall, though. If they splat off the wall, you can follow up with a heavy, and it's guaranteed. So keep that in mind, whenever you land a kick, if they bounce off that wall, throw a heavy instead. More damage, and uh, you know, you obviously want to hit that more damage. She can also get into the stance from other ways in the middle of her combos, which we'll go into in a little bit. Now her final hit is the Viper Retreat, I believe it's called. Viper's Retreat, something like that. But you'll walk backwards and press the light button. Now this move is actually very important because it, one, initiates bleed and two can be used as recovery so we'll go into that right now um let, let's go into combos all right guys now she's got some pretty simple chains as you can see on the right those are pretty much all her chains so she's got a triple light she's got a light heavy and then a double heavy these can actually be initiated with dodge attacks depending on the attack so if you do a dodge attack and throw a heavy with your dodge attack you can follow up with another heavy. And if you do a dodge attack and you initiate with a light, you can follow up with your light chain. So, lights for lights, heavies for heavies. Keep that in mind. Also, as a little side note, when you land your second light, the third one's guaranteed. So you hit that first light, second light, the second light guarantees the third, and they also proc bleed. She is a bleed monster! With those being the basic chains, they actually can link together because she has very good recovery frames and recovery ability now her rec her recoveries are actually three different ways so there's the viper's retreat the kick and the hidden stance now what i mean by that is her recovery at the end of her chain you can follow up with a kick or you can follow up with a hidden stance or you can follow up with your viper's retreat so it cancels your recoveries and initiates another attack, which will let you link into your other attacks 
<laughs> so like you can light, 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 kick, light, and, and just continue your attack. It's um, it's another one of those characters that's relentless as long as you as long as you master the recovery frames. Same as like a Rochi, how his attacks are relentless. Um, he does it much better because because he has the running heavy. But with her, it's more about continuing to maintain focus on your control over the chain. Because if you do your combo and then forget to go into the recovery, you're leaving yourself wide open. But the fact that you can continue your chain is crazy. I personally like to use the recovery of the stance because it also initiates the dodge. So if, if you, they think you're going to recover, you can go into the stance and then boom, hit them with an unblockable do or undodgeable attack or uh, kick right after. But that recovery frame into the stance also has the dodge properties. So if they go to repose or try and take their turn, you're, you're just taking it right back. It's beautiful. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, aside from the kick, if I know they're by the wall, I'm going to hit that kick so I can get that slap. And now don't forget about the dodge attacks because the dodge heavies can chain into a heavy, which can chain into a kick, which can chain into a light. Or your dodge lights can chain into lights, can chain into viper's retreat, can chain into dodge attacks again. It's it's very she's a very linkable character once you master all three of those abilities. The Viper's Retreat, the Stance, and the Kick. The kick is the most common one you see, because most people don't realize you can do the other ones as recovery frames. But um if you master the other two as well, damn bro, you gonna be phenomenal. Now with the basic combos and the recoveries down, let's go into her punishes. Guard breaks. So when you go into the uh, guard break with Nabushi, you can just throw a heavy. Doesn't matter which way, they're all guaranteed. They all take the same. They all have those same windings. So you're gonna get that 24 damage no matter what. So one of the characters that's pointless in kicking her into the wall unless you initiated a light, or the light into the kick into the head. Um, throwing her into the wall just doesn't really have. It, it, there's not really a point unless you're trying to recover for stamina. Her parries are pretty simple. When you land a heavy parry, you're going to do the Viper's Retreat. Because you can only follow up with lights. Um, and the second light's not guaranteed. The first light is. So you might as well just hit that Viper's Retreat. Proc that bleed. And start gutting them. You know what I mean? Uh, if you land a light parry, just throw a random heavy. doesn't really matter which way because they're all guaranteed. But heavy parries. Viper's Retreat. I see so many Nobushis not using that attack. It's such a good freaking start to any kind of chain. The the Viper's Retreat is just amazing. Like, y'all gotta start using it. <laughs> I love you. Her out of stamina punishes are pretty simple. Uh, you're just gonna do two heavies. You knock him down, two heavies. Oops. That was the wrong direction to throw him. <laughs> You're gonna throw them forward and then do two heavies. Now, unfortunately, the same does not go for the parries. Um, with with the parries, I would say to try the uh, heavy into the Viper's Retreat. Uh, unfortunately, because he just gets up much faster from the heavy attack. So on guard break, throw him down, heavy, heavy. On parry, heavy Viper's Retreat. Unfortunately, Nobushi doesn't have any kind of deflex, so that's pretty much it. Let's see her in action. Why are you wearing a hat, Jake? Because I ain't got a haircut right now, all right? Damn. I'm not gonna lie, my nose will be looking scrubby, bro. I'm gonna have to adjust this. For those of you that are new, this is 90% of the game uh, loading screen customization. Oh, look at that. And sir, we shall go to war. Okay, stop. Okay, buddy. Nope. Victory. Where was he looking for the door? Oh, they brought the animation back. I forgot. I'm dead. Delayed heavies. I told y'all about that. Delayed heavy shit. Round three. Brrr. Oh, he's 
let it fly. Oh my god, twice? Oh no. I will bleed you back, sir. Oh, he died from bleed. That was fucked. I didn't even realize his health was like bleed. Bleed levels low. Will the god. Jesus. We're in for a rough one, boss. I'm about to get stomped. I'm about to get Shigoki stomped. Damn. Damn. This is this is already over. <laughs> This shit is over, bro. <laughs> that boy's the main character. Never want to fuck with the main character. See that chain of, that chain flux of fucking inputs. Oh my god! Fight scene you are. I'm dead, guys. <laughs> please be gentle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my name to that. Please be gentle. Damn. Oh, this is gonna be scary. Good shit. All right, senor. GG's. Whoa. Damn. No. Be gentle. <laughs> Is it just me or does it seem like anybody you fight against seems to be intimidating? Like all the heroes seem, at, seem like they're at a point something to worry about you know and finally we got a cack all right so we'll see how this goes we're gonna just do a, a little highlight right here. <laughs> he almost came back right there. <laughs> I think he's bored of me already, this conk. Got him. Victory. I wonder if he's just nervous. From the bleed, he keeps going into that full guard, but it's not. It's more like a, something you should do on a reaction to just hold the full guard. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't start. Almost had it, bro. Almost had it, bro. Victory. Anyway, guys, that's my uh, Nobushi tutorial. Uh, if you like the videos, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please like the video, guys. Um, also, this is going to be a variety channel. I've been doing a lot of For Honor tutorials, and I understand that most of you have subbed because of For Honor. But I'm going to also be doing other games, so... I'll probably do like videos once a week on For Honor if I can. And then a couple times a week, I'll be uploading other things as I want to. Because I've been playing a lot of Warframe lately and a lot of, uh, what is it called? Smite. So I'll be uploading some of those too. But um, there will definitely, I will try to keep at least one video for Honor a week and then like other videos as well. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.